Ang buhay OFW po ay hatid sa inyo ng Doña Maria Premium Quality Rice Available in white and brown varieties Mas mapapasarap ang kain pag masarap ang kanin Mi Ponica, just Ponica Help keep yourself fit without giving up rice Try tasty, fiber-rich brown rice Just Ponica Brown, Mi Ponica Brown From SL Agritech Corporation San Miguel Corporation, The Manila Times, Daijo Gem, Find Jewelry at Unit 125S Mason, Marina Way Mall of Asia Complex, Origani, We Believe in a Beautiful and Natural Skin. Visit us at Bangsar Shopping Center and IOI Mall, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Royal Indian Curry House, Rich Restaurant, 5345 General Luna Street, Poblacion, Makati City, and Seaside Mall, Pasay City. Philippine Veterans Bank, a bank with a heart. Black Pearl Wellness Institute by Marisa Del Mar. Third floor, Glorieta 5, Makati City. Southville International School of Foreign Universities. Make the choice today for your tomorrow. Black Pearl Prestige, when luxury and quality meet. Black Pearl is the perfect combination between scientific professional skin care and high-end skin care for personal use. Utilizing a cutting-edge technology to combine authentic Black Pearl powder into its product line. Black Pearl has established itself as a market leader in the luxurious and prestige category of the beauty industry. Black Pearl caters to those who want to look and feel at their best to shine and glow as a pearl. Cleopatra Mask This unique facial mask combines 24 karat gold with black mud from the Dead Sea, enriched with vitamins, plant oils and extracts to deeply nourish the skin and enhance its natural luminosity. Visit us at the upper level, City of Dreams, Manila and on the second floor of Glorieta 2, Ayala Center, Makati, Greenbelt 5, and Glorieta 5. Buhay o FW! Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Ako po ang inyong kapatid, Marisa Del Mar. At ito ang Buhay o FW. Buhay o FW! Ngayong gabi ay eh, pagpapatuloy natin ang selebrasyon ng ating 7th year anniversary ng Buhay OFW TV at launch ng ating Anti-Trafficking OFW Movement or ATOM. Ikaw ay aalis at sila'y iiwan Sa ibang bansa'y maninirahan Nang makamit pangarap na inaasahan Buhay o FW, pangarap Ibang bayan Ito ay alang-alang sa minamahal Isusugal ang buhay ko kailangan Nang ang mga minimit Sa iyong pagsis 
sikap ang araw ay sisikat Buhay o FW Bayanikan na totoo Dapat nang purihin ng bawat katulad ko Pilipino Ate Kuya Inay Kapatid at kaibigan Kaputihan nyo'y tamang pamalisan Buhay ang FW Panarap mo'y matutupan Sa iyong pagsisikap Ang araw ay sisikap Salamat natin sa mga dumalo sa ating 7th year anniversary celebration ng Buhay OFW. Abangan po natin ang pagdalo ng ating minamahal na Pangulo, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, sa ating pong 7th year anniversary celebration. Kaya't dyan lang po kayo at samahan niyo po kami sa susunod na isang oras dito lamang po sa Buhay OFW. Buhay Buhay OFW ay hatid sa inyo ng SP Land Incorporated. Set your sights on your new home, situated in the heart of Naik Cavite. Sterling Residence One offers you, the Filipino family, your dream home. Affordability, high-quality homes, security and comfort. Live the life of your dreams. Sterling Residence One is owned and developed by SP Land Incorporated a sterling paper group of companies. Royal Indian Curry House, Rich Restaurant, 5345 General Luna Street, Poblacion, Makati City, and Seaside Mall, Pasay City. The Global Education Leader, Southville International School and Colleges. Be amazing, be Southville. Buhay o FW, pangarap mo'y matutupan sa iyong pagsisikap ang araw ay sisikat Buhay o FW Bayan ni ka na totoo Dapat ang purihin ng bawat katulad ko Handa kang magpaalipin sa ibang bayan ito ay alang-alang sa minamahal Isusugan lang ang buhay ko kailangan Nang ang mga minimit Pagsisikap ang araw ay sisikat Buhay o FW, bayan ni ka na totoo Dapat ang purihin ng bawat katulad ko Pilipino Ate Kuya, inay-itay, kapatid at 
Tumpak po mga kapatid na papanood nyo pa rin po kami sa Buhay OFW. Buhay OFW! Last week po ay natunghayan natin ang selebrasyon ng ating 7th year anniversary. At ngayong gabi ay pagpapatuloy natin ang selebrasyon. Buhay OFW! Pangarap mo'y matutupan sa iyong pagsisikap ang araw. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Sawa na ang bayan ko sa magnanakaw na tao. Madilim na kahapon Ikaw ang mag-aahon Sa piling mo Di ko mawawala ang korupsyon Tayo na Pilipinas Tayo na to have our President Duterte with us tonight for the 7th year anniversary celebration of Buhay OFW TV. To formally start, may we now call on the host of Buhay OFW TV and founder of Atom Anti-Trafficking OFW Movement, Ms. Marisa Del Mar, to give us a short message. Kinakabahan po ako. I'm so honored and humbled na kasama po natin ang ating pinakamamahal na Presidente Rodrigo Roa Duterte. It is tonight that we are celebrating our 7th year anniversary of Buhay OFW TV and our launch of the anti-trafficking OFW movement or ATOM. In our President's recent visit to Bahrain, President Duterte promised that this administration will be free from corruption, oppression, and abusive officials. We, from the private sector, are here tonight to make the promise a reality. John Ash, President of the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, once stated that human trafficking is not only one of the most grotesque violations of human rights, but it is also a most lucrative crime for perpetrators. Not only to the trafficking of drugs and guns, trafficking in persons is now the world's third most profitable organized crime with annual profits of as high as 150 billion US dollars in a global scale. Female victims compose the majority of the scale. According to the U.S. State Department's Human Rights Report, 400,000 women are being trafficked in the Philippines annually. All over the world, over 10 million Filipino men, women, and children are subjected to sex trafficking and forced labor, according to the research done by the U.S. government in 2014. As of June 2016, the U.S. State Department announced that the Philippines is now on its tier one of its annual trafficking in persons report. The report is based on the commitment of our very own Philippine government to prosecute trafficking cases, protect the victims, and prevent future human trafficking during April 1, 2015 to March 31, 2016 reporting period. Tier 1 is the highest level, which includes the U.S. itself. Countries under Tier 1 fully meet the minimum standards for the elimination of human trafficking under the U.S. Trafficking Victims Protection Act of 2000. Despite the ranking, much remains to be done to eradicate the crime of human trafficking in our country. The President intends to intensify the war against human traffickers and illegal recruiters, a program he himself considers as important as drugs. Our very own President Duterte mentioned also in his recent visit to Bahrain 
that he wants the OFWs to have their own department. We hail our OFWs as our modern day heroes. They are the drivers of our economy. We need to secure the safety of our OFWs. Our government needs our support. With the creation of the anti-trafficking OFW movement or ATOM, we are hopeful that we can help solve the problem of human trafficking. To re-echo the statement of our president, I too will not allow abuse, corruption, and oppression of our fellow Filipinos. Let us fight against this modern day slavery. Let us stop human trafficking. With the full support of our President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, together we will win this battle. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Marisa. Maraming salamat for that very inspiring message. Buhay o FW, pangarap mo'y matuto. 400,000 po ang bilang ng mga babaeng naging biktima ng trafficking in person sa Pilipinas noong 2015. Lampas 10 milyong Pilipinong lalaki, babae at bata ang naging biktima ng sex trafficking at forced labor sa buong mundo noong dipong taong 2015. Ang trafficking in persons ay pinagbabawal ayon sa Republic Act 9208 or Anti-Trafficking in Persons Act of 2003. Kung kayo po ay may kilalang biktima ng ganitong illegal na aktibidad, ipag-alam lamang sa Anti-Trafficking OFW Movement sa pamamagitan po ng programang ito at sisikapin namin kayong matulungan. Buhay o FW, pangarap mo'y matutupan Sa iyong pagsisikap ang araw ay sisikat Buhay o FW Ang buhay OFW po ay hatid sa inyo ng Doña Maria Premium Quality Rice, available in white and brown varieties. Mas mapapasarap ang kain pag masarap ang kanin. Mi Ponica, just Ponica. Help keep yourself fit without giving up rice. Try tasty, fiber-rich brown rice. Just Ponica Brown, Mi Ponica Brown, from SL Agritech Corporation. The Global Education Leader, Southville International School and Colleges. Be amazing, be Southville. Black Pearl Prestige, when luxury and quality meet. Black Pearl is the perfect combination between scientific professional skin care and high-end skin care for personal use. Utilizing a cutting-edge technology to combine authentic Black Pearl powder into its product line. Black Pearl has established itself as a market leader in the luxurious and prestige category of the beauty industry. Black Pearl caters to those who want to look and feel at their best to shine and glow as a pearl. Cleopatra Mas. This unique facial mask combines 24 karat gold with black mud from the Dead Sea, enriched with vitamins, plant oils, and extracts to deeply nourish the skin and enhance its natural luminosity. Visit us at the upper level, City of Dreams, Manila, and on the second floor of Glorieta 2, Ayala Center, Makati, Greenbelt 5, and Glorieta 5. Buhay o FW, pangarap mo'y matutupan Sa iyong pagsisikap ang araw ay sisikat Buhay o FW, bayan ni ka na totoo Dapat ang purihin ng bawat katulad ko Alipin sa ibang bayan, ito ay alang-alang.
Nagsimula po ang buhay OFW seven years ago. Ang gusto lamang po natin ay magbigay pugay sa ating mga kababayan na nagtatrabaho sa ibang bansa. Ngayon po ay naging advocacy na po natin ang pagtulong sa kanila dahil sa mga paghihirap at pagsubok na nararanasan nila. Sa inyo pong mga mahal naming mga OFWs, dedicated po ang paglulunsad ng anti-trafficking OFW movement. Layunin po ng Buhay OFW TV na matulungan kayo kaya't ikinagagalak naming suportahan at ng ating pamahalaan at ng ating mahal na Pangulong Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Buhay OFW! We would like to call on our uh, hard-working Secretary of Labor, Secretary Sylvester Bellio III. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, Mayor Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Buhay o FWU, pangarap mo'y matutupan. Excellencies of uh, the Diplomatic Corps, Labor Secretary Silvestro Bellio, and other members of the Cabinet, Ms. Marisa Del Mar, the founding chairwoman of the anti-trafficking OFW movement on post. Buhay OFW TV, partner organizations of the anti-trafficking OFW movement, mga kasama ko sa gobyerno, mga kababayan ko. Tatlong pages lang man to. <laughs> so, uh, I'd be through in about two minutes and say goodbye. Are you through with your dinner? Uh, wait, we na tayo pagkatapos nito. <laughs> Matagal ako sa, I've been with government for the, uh, the best years of my life. Started as a prosecutor, then as a vice mayor, mayor for 23 years. I'm just telling you, I'm laying the predicate of my talk. And the congressman and being vice mayor and mayor again, uh, it would reach about 40 years. Uh, uh, I, I don't know how long I would be president. Uh, the imponderables of life would uh, uh, caution you to mag isang salita. Do not uh, define life in one sentence. But I have some thoughts and experiences to share with you. Nang mayor ako, matagal ng panahon, there was a time when I was... Uh, forced to give the order to shoot to kill pati yung mga illegal recruiters. And this happened because uh, three Davoenas, uh, dalawa sa Turil and one from Lasang, those are the districts in my city, uh, whose parents came to me early morning crying because they could no longer uh, get in touch with their uh, daughters and all communications. Uh, well, no more. Uh, were cut. And uh, they were crying in front of my wife and me. And after uh, breakfast, my wife told me, do not ask which wife. I, uh, I have two. So. To be fair, I said, do not ask. Uh, I, uh, I said, my wife said, why don't you do something about it? Uh, uh, I said, do something about it. Uh, I, I, I pity the, the parents. And I said, yes, I've been uh, declaring 
war against drugs and against illegal recruiters. You know, if you try to bring the worst in me as a human being, try these crimes and you would really see the worst person in this planet. Kababayan mo tapos isipin mo na hanggang kamatayan at gagamitin pa. Not only are the slaves in the truest sense of the word, but also they are sexual slaves. And it bugs your mind just thinking about it. Again, I thank the private sector, especially the Buhay OFW, for working closely with the government in this endeavor. Human trafficking is a serious problem that transcends borders. Therefore, we all have a responsibility in making sure that this battle is won. Together, we will work to improve the lives of our overseas Filipino workers. Again, congratulations and mabuhay. When the father goes out to work abroad, a family without a father is a dysfunctional. A family without a mother is dysfunctional. When both father and mother go out to work, the family is left to the care of the sister or brother or to the aunts, then my God, remember the Filipino. We have a large number of dysfunctional families. And who are these people would have the money to pay for the 200 and would have the money always. It's not a big sum. Who are the targets? The sons and daughters of the poor family. Lalo na yung alam nila na may nagtatrabaho sa labas and that is as your income and every month money is sent from the whatever country, by the father or mother to support his schooling and his baon and everything. And that is why they are working to death there, breaking their backs to earn money so that the families here can live and be educated. And you drug people coming in into the picture and destroying the family my God, I will kill you. <laughs> Why? Because I love the Filipino. Why? Eh, kababayan ko yung kadugo ko. Ang OFW talagang malakas ang hatak sa akin. Yung iba, bakit nanalo ako? Ganito lang yan. You have to improve the economy to do justice to the sweat of people outside, rich or poor, that their families here are protected. Wala man lang silang ibang hinihingi. They're not asking for anything else from the government. As a matter of fact, they are the ones remitting money to the government. Oh. Now, the GDP, not any, a good part of it is really the earnings outside. Wala nga lang hiningi. Yan lang. That uh, everything is uh, for one day when they return, oh, which is happening now. Kasi ang labor naghanap na. May nagsabi pa ng isang ano, sana magbalik na yung OFW because most of the artisans are out. Hindi marunong ng plumbing and uh, electricity because all of the experts uh, went abroad to seek the greener pasture. Ngayon, there's a boom, even in the world, they're looking for uh, workers. Workers skilled. Eh, kung ibigay mo yung tractor mo, sa hindi marunong, di binangga yung building mo. <laughs> na si, na bumagsak na ang bulsa mo, bumagsak lahat. And they have to keep the the economy at least viable. 
protect their children, their families, because their mothers and fathers and pamangki nandito, and they're hoping that they would be the, have magandang buhay. Then children, their children especially, pawis nila yan tapos they, they go to, they put to a knot because of, mahirap yan. Now, if I kept on talking, you might as well order the breakfast. <laughs> Thank you and good night. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Dagang salamat for your message. We would like to thank our President of the Republic of the Philippines for the liberation of Marawi. Congratulations, congratulations, our President. And to our fallen soldiers, we'll pray for them. Buhay Ito po ang dapat nating tandaan. Ang mga senyales ng trafficking in persons ayon sa United Nations on Drugs and Crimes. Ang aktong kriminal na pagre-recruit, pagdadala at pagkuha ng mga tao mula sa iba't ibang lugar, paggamit ng dahas, panlilinang, coercion, pagkidnap o pagtangay at pagbabayad sa tagapangalaga ng biktima. Ang paglalayo na gamitin ang mga biktima para sa prostitusyon at ibang uri ng sexual exploitation, forced labor or services, removal of organs, at pang-aalipin at mga katulad na aktibidad. Ang trafficking in persons ay pinagbabawal ayon sa Republic Act 9208 or Anti-Trafficking in Persons Act of 2003. Kung kayo po ay may kilalang biktima ng ganitong illegal na aktibidad, ipag-alam lamang sa Anti-Trafficking OFW Movement or ATOM sa pamamagitan po ng programang ito at sisikapin po namin kayong matulungan. Thank you so much to the 30th PMPC Star Awards for Television, Buhay OFW Award for Best Public Service Program for Action TV. Mabuhay po ang PMPC. Congratulations to our Head News and Public Affairs Chief, Ms. Luci Cruz Valdez, from your Buhay OFW family. Buhay OFW ay hatid sa inyo ng SP Land Incorporated. Set your sights on your new home, situated in the heart of Naik Cavite. Sterling Residence One offers you, the Filipino family, your dream home. Affordability, high quality homes, security and comfort. Live the life of your dreams. Sterling Residence One is owned and developed by SP Land Incorporated, a sterling paper group of companies. San Miguel Corporation, The Manila Times, Royal Indian Curry House, Rich Restaurant, 5345 General Luna Street, Poblacion, Makati City, and Seaside Mall, Pasay City. Origani, we believe in a beautiful and natural skin. Visit us at Bangsar Shopping Center and IOI Mall, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Southville International School of Foreign Universities. Make the choice today for your tomorrow. Buhay o FWA, pangarap mo'y matutupan. Sa iyong pagsisikap ang araw ay sisikat. Buhay o FWA, bayan ni ka na totoo. Dapat kong purihin ng bawat katulad ko. Handa kang magpaalipin sa ibang bayan. Ito ay alang-alang sa minamahal. Isusugal ang buhay ko kailangan ng ang mga Sa iyong 
pagsisikap ang araw ay sisikat Buhay OFW Mayani ka na Totoo Dapat nang purigin ng bawat Welcome back po sa Buhay OFW Buhay OFW Buwan ng Oktubre ay pinagdiriwang natin ang 7th year anniversary ng Buhay OFW. At taos-puso po namin pagpapasalamat sa ating mga partner organizations na nakilahok po sa ating anti-trafficking OFW movement. Buhay OFW! We would like to acknowledge and give recognition to our anti-trafficking OFW movement partner organization. PLDT Global Corporation, President and CEO, Ms. Katrina Luna Abelarde. For Macro Wiring Technologies, President Mr. Herenato Alfante. <laughs> Filipino Indian Commerce and Welfare Society, Mr. Majinder James Kumar. Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Mr. George Barcelon. <laughs> Philippine Exporters Confederation, President Mr. Serge Ortiz Luis, together with Attorney Mike Toledo for PLDT Group of Companies. National Real Estate Association, Executive Vice President, Mr. Benigno Cabrieto. <laughs> Solterra Design Corporation, Chairman, Mr. Ryan Sefiane. And from the Philippine Chinese Charitable Association, Dr. James D. Chairman. From Kelcon International Corporation, Mr. Willy Kua, President. From DDC Land Incorporated, Mr. Edna R. Sutter, President and CEO, and Chairman Martin Sutter. From DJF Realty, Ms. Dorothy B. Joy Fanyo, President. Seagull Philippines Incorporated, Ms. Maria Rosa Bincarion. President Southville International Schools and Colleges President Dr. Marie V. Ferenal Zonta Club of Makati Central Business District Charter President Ms. Angelita Y. Lee CDK International Manpower Services Incorporated, Chairwoman, Ms. Cristela A. Morales. And Atom Buhay OFW Foundation Incorporated, represented by its treasurer, Mr. Raymond Wendell Adriano. From the Management Association of the Philippines, Mr. George Yulo. Thank you to all our partners in Atom Anti-Trafficking OFW Movement. Buhay OFW! Itinuturing po nating extended family ang ating mga OFWs at kanilang mga pamilya. Mga kapatid po natin na nagtataguyod sa ating bansa. Hindi po magiging kumpleto ang ating 7th year anniversary celebration kung wala po ang ating mga OFW heads pula po sa NCR at Batangas. Buhay OFW, pangarap mo'y matutupan sa iyong pagsisikap ang araw ay sisikat Buhay o FW Bayan ni ka na totoo Dapat ang purihin ng bawat katulad ko Handa kang magpaalipin sa 
ibang bayan Ito ay alang-alang sa minamahal Isusugal lang ang buhay ko kailangan Nang ang mga minimit Pagsisikap ang araw ay sisikat Buhay OFW, bayani ka na Totoo, dapat ang purigin ng bawat Katulad ko, Pilipino Ate Kulian, inay itay Kapatid at kaibigan Kabutihan nyo'y tamang pamarisan Buhay OFW Pangarap mo'y matutupan Sa iyong pagsisikap Ang araw ay sisikap ating mahal na Pangulong President Rodrigo Roa Duterte sa ating launch ng anti-trafficking OFW movement ay nakatitiyak po tayo na matutulungan niya po tayo at ang ating mga kababayan na nagtatrabaho sa abroad. Magbabalik po ang Buhay OFW. Buhay OFW! Ang mga tao pong lumabag sa Republic Act 9208 or Anti-Trafficking in Persons Act of 2003 ay maaaring masintensyahan ng anim hanggang habang buhay na pagkakakulong at pagbibigay ng danyos na mula 500,000 pesos hanggang 5 million pesos. Ang trafficking in persons ay pinagbabawal ayon sa Republic Act 9208 or Anti-Trafficking in Persons Act of 2003. Kung kayo po ay may kilalang biktima ng ganitong illegal na aktibidad, Ipag-alam lamang po sa Anti-Trafficking OFW Movement or ATOM sa pamamagitan po ng programang ito at sisikapin namin kayong matulungan. Buhay OFW, bayan ka na totoo, dapat kang purihin ng bawat katulad ko. Ang buhay OFW po ay hatid sa inyo ng San Miguel Corporation, the global education leader, Southville International School and Colleges, Be Amazing, Be Southville, Mapicon Philippines Inc., your total pest control solutions, Rich Restaurant, Royal Indian Curry House, 5345 General Luna Street, Makati Avenue, Makati City, And on Seaside Boulevard, Pasay City, Daijo Gem, Fine Jewelry at Unit 125 S. Mason, Marina Way Mall of Asia Complex. Origani We believe in a beautiful and natural skin. We believe in nurturing the harmonious relationship between nature and science to bring you the finest in organic skin care. We believe you should not have to choose between quality and price. So let Origani be your luxury skincare solution 
because compromising on your skincare should not be an option. Visit us, Bansar Shopping Center and IOI Mall, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Buhay o Ibang bayan Ito ay alang-alang sa minamahal Isusugan lang ang buhay ko Kailangan Nang ang mga minimit Buhay OFW Family at ng Millicent Productions. Nagpapasalamat po kami sa ating mga supporters and partner organizations. Naging matagumpay po ang pagse-celebrate ng ating 7th year anniversary. Nariyan na po ngayon ang anti-trafficking OFW movement or ATOM upang labanan ang pang-aabuso sa ating mga OFWs. Patuloy po tayo magdarasal na maging maginhawa ang pagtatrabaho ng ating mga kapatid sa abroad, ang ating mga minamahal na OFWs. Maraming marami pong salamat sa ating mga buhay OFW partners and supporters. Kayo po ang dahilan kung bakit nakarating po ang buhay OFW ng pitong taon. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. Buhay OFW! Ang Buhay OFW po ay handang magbigay impormasyon, tulong at serbisyo anumang oras, anumang araw. Ako po ang inyong kapatid na handang maglingkod, Marisa Dalmar. Kakampi, kaibigan at kapatid ng mga manggagawang Pilipino sa buong mundo. Ito ang Buhay OFW. Buhay OFW! Ang buhay OFW po ay hatid sa inyo ng San Miguel Corporation. Buhay OFW, pangarap mo'y matutupan Sa iyong pagsisikap ang araw ay sisikat Buhay OFW, bayani ka na totoo Dapat kong purihin ng bawat katulad ko 
Alipin sa ibang bayan Ito ay alang-alang sa minamahal 